Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a drill, but this is. And today we're gonna to be talking about all of the drills, the best ones, and which one you should be buying. Welcome to the complete drill guide, and let's jump straight into it. Okay, so the purpose of this guide is to help you figure out which drill you need to be investing in, whether it's short-term, long-term, cheap or expensive. And we're basically gonna go over the different drills, their different upgrades, and what they're all best at. So to start off, we have to talk about the Forger. The Forger is basically the guy that's going to be making all of your drills, and there are a few different things that are the big deals that you need to take into consideration whenever we talk about drills. So number one is, of course, the price. Whether or not you can afford the item is going to have to determine whether or not you can buy the item, so that's a big deal. Then there's the breaking power, and then there's also the question of whether or not you have high enough heart of the mountain level to use it. Now, there are are a few other things that are also important number one is whether or not you're going to be mining long term so if you're just getting a tool because you want to hit heart of the mountain level seven and you're not really worried about making money after that you just want to get the scoblick xp or something it's honestly not a bad move but really for that i wouldn't even recommend getting a drill i'd honestly recommend just buying pico nimbuses on the auction house these guys they're a little bit pricey but they get 5,000 uses a piece and then as you use these and you can start mining gemstones after heart of the mountain level three you can move on to a gemstone gauntlet which has a breaking power of nine now i said breaking power was important but i didn't really tell you why basically breaking power is what determines whether or not you can break a block so once you get to the dwarven mines you have to have a breaking power of at least four to just be able to mine mithril ore you can have breaking power of three to mine dwarven gold but you need at least four to mine mithril ore five to mine titanium four to mine hardstone and then you need seven to mine amber sapphire jade ruby and amethyst you actually only need six to mine ruby but seven for amethyst sapphire jade and amber and then after that you need a breaking power of eight to break your topaz blocks and a power of nine to get your jasper gemstone block now if you're only doing this for heart of the mountain xp then honestly breaking power of nine is not that important you only need it for jasper and jasper is found extremely rarely and a lot of times they're not even worth mining and if you are mining them then you're doing it specifically for money so if you're in the early stages of mining breaking power nine doesn't matter if you're in the later stages then you probably already have a tool that is breaking power nine or higher and if not we're going to talk about that but basically the gemstone gauntlet has a breaking power of nine which means you can break any block in the crystal hollows and the dwarven mine now the reason this is important is because for your heart of the mountain xp you will have to do some quests in the crystal hollows that's the fastest way to do it and some of these quests require that you break some blocks i don't have any of them right now but instead of these slayer quests that i have right now you would also have a chance to get gemstone commission so basically gemstone commissions require you to break a thousand of a certain gemstone which is the fastest way to get your heart of the mountain xp up and some of these gemstone commissions require you to break topaz which you need a breaking power of eight for so if you're going for that type of thing where you're just going for commissions you're going to want a tool with at least a breaking power of eight later on and the easiest way to do that is with the gemstone gauntlet granted it is pretty pricey at six 16 mil for the lowest one but it really is worth it it has a mining speed of 1600 which is a pretty good start and this is actually one of the best tools in the game i'd honestly put it at number three or number four for best mining tool in the game so all you need for this is heart of the mountain level six so to get to that point we are going to need a lower level drill or a pico nimbus like i said earlier but before we get into the drill stuff Honestly, Pico Nimbus and Gemstone Gauntlet for Heart of the Mountain XP is really, really good. Now, if you're a completionist like myself, or if you're on Iron Man, you are gonna want a drill as well before you get to the Gemstone Gauntlet. So the question is, which path do you start on? Basically, drills have two paths that you follow. There are actually three total paths, but I recommend skipping the Mithril Drill because the Mithril Drill has only two versions. There's the Mithril Drill SXR326, which is the upgraded version, and there's the Mithril Drill SXR226. Now, this drill is not bad if you're only going for Myth, but then again, Pico Nimbus is a good option for that. Pico Nimbus has a mining speed of 1500 whereas this drill has a mining speed of 450 at its base and realistically you're not really going to get above that point a thousand mining speed on a tool above its base is very difficult to get to especially if you're in the early stages of the game which you should be if you're trying to use this drill so basically skip this one mithril drill sxr 
Both of those, they're terrible. They're not good for anything. You can see that the price for this one, lowest bin average is 4.6 mil. Whereas your other option for early game drill, the Ruby drill, which has a higher breaking power, by the way, breaking power of seven, costs less. And granted, its mining speed is not as good. The base mining speed is not as good. But if you're Heart of the Mountain 3, which you should be very easy to get to, you're going to be grinding gemstones, like I said earlier, and this extra 800 gemstone mining speed is going to be way better than this mithril drill. Best part is you only need to be hard in Mountain 3 to craft either one of these drills, so they're unlocked at the same level. This one is just better, period. Now, the ruby drill is part of the gemstone drill line of drill. So basically, the ruby drill starts off the gemstone line. Pretty cheap craft, 4.3 mil. The next upgrade to that is the gemstone drill. Now this one gets an extra 150 mining speed, but it's gonna cost you four to six mil in upgrade. Again, this is with current prices as of 5, 15, 2023. 20, These are the prices. So if you're watching this way later on, the prices may change, but the ratio should be the same. Now, do you wanna upgrade this drill? Honestly, I don't recommend it. Again, I really don't recommend going for the Ruby drill in the first place. If you are really rich and you can afford to, then it would be better to grab this Ruby drill than to buy a bunch of Pico Nimbuses. But again, the problem with drills is they do require fuel. So it's basically gonna cost you 20,000 coins every 3,000 blocks, which is not that bad. But realistically, you can probably punch all the way up to Heart of the Mountain 6 if you're efficient with a couple of Pico Nimbuses. Now, the reason that you would want to upgrade to this gemstone drill is because it is unlocked at Heart of the Mountain level four and it already has a breaking power of eight. So if you're at Heart of the Mountain level four, you're stuck on Topaz commissions, you can go ahead and upgrade to this and not have to wait till you're Heart of the Mountain six to get rid of those Topaz commissions. Again, you can get rid of them by opening chests in the magma fields or killing Yogs, but really mining is definitely the fastest way to do it. So if you're speed running through your Heart of the Mountain stuff, you've maybe ignored it for for most of the game you're at a pretty high level you can afford this drill it's not bad to go for but if you're early game and you can't afford to spend six million coins on a drill upgrade that's fine you can just stick with the ruby drill or with your pico nimbus now we get on to the second line of drills the end game line of drills the titanium drill drx 355. This is unlocked at Heart of the Mountain 5 and it starts off with 700 mining speed, 25 mining fortune. So as we're getting into these higher levels, we need to talk about the three important stats of mining. Stat number one is pristine. So pristine is only important if you're mining gemstones, if you're just doing mithril and titanium commissions in the mines of Devon, pristine doesn't matter. But if you're mining gemstones in the crystal hollows, this is a big deal. This is the best stat that you can have for money making in mining. Basically what pristine does is whenever I mine a gemstone, it has a chance to proc. So it didn't proc there, it proc'd there though. So pristine, you found flawed sapphire gemstone times 34. So basically what pristine does is instead of me finding regular rough tier gemstone, it has a chance to upgrade the gemstones that are mined from rough to flawed. Now it takes 80 rough gemstones to make one flawed gemstone. So basically pristine is giving me 80 times the drop. Anytime that it procs, I'm getting 80 times the drops that I would normally get. Now pristine is very difficult to get a hold of because as you can see, it's kind of cracked, which is why it's very important to take into account whenever you are choosing your drill. So each pristine stat gives 1% chance for pristine to proc. So with my end game setup, if I equip the correct pet, when I am in the magma fields at the lowest level, my pristine is at 17. Now my pristine is not completely maxed. You can actually max this out with a couple other things that I don't have, but it's really, really close. And it is the best mining stat in the game. So you definitely wanna get as much pristine as you can if you're gonna be mining for a long time. Now the second most important stat is gonna be mining fortune. So you saw earlier how I got 34 flawed sapphire gemstones that is because of mining fortune if i unequip my armor here and with the exact same setup come over and mine some gemstones until i get a pristine proc you see i've procced it but i only got 12 instead of the 34 that i got earlier that is because of mining fortune basically what mining fortune does is increase the base amount of blocks that you get from mining any ore or gemstone so basically whatever my mining fortune is at here 
is what my drops are multiplied by. So I have 1200 mining fortune without holding my drill. When I hold the drill, it goes up to 1400. So basically I'm getting 14 times the drops I would normally get plus a 46% chance to get 15 times the drop. So mining fortune is very important. Not as important as pristine, but very important. Finally, there is mining speed, which some would argue is more important than fortune, but most of the mining community agrees mining speed is the least important of the mining stats however it is still very important all right i know that's a lot of information but let's try and keep going here so heart of the mountain five you unlock titanium drill drx355 is this worth crafting yes if you intend to mine past heart of the mountain seven and you're actually mining so that you can make money you're going to want to make this and then you're going to want to upgrade it to every single level you can except for the last level because the last level is really not worth it but we'll talk about that when we get to it the second drill you unlock at heart of the mountain tier 5 is actually the upgrade to the titanium drill the 455 now the first titanium drill costs a hefty 35 million coins but the second one costs 94 million so it's 60 million coins to upgrade this drill to the second level so you can tell this is pretty expensive this line of drills makes a ton of money if you put the time back into it but if you don't intend to it's really not worth it but what's the difference between these drills basically the first titanium drill has 700 mining speed 25 mining fortune and a breaking power of seven the second one increases the mining speed by 200 the mining fortune by 15 and the breaking power by one so you can now break topaz with the 455 so pretty cool but the craziest thing is seeing how expensive this is 95 million coins right now and realizing that the gemstone drill or gemstone gauntlet is actually better sure it doesn't have any mining fortune but it does have gemstone slot so the thing about gemstone slots is that's actually how you're going to be getting the majority of your pristine is from topaz gemstones and that is the little star gemstone there in the middle basically with a perfect topaz gemstone you can get two pristine which is a two percent chance to drop 80 times the drops from gemstone again pristine is important and it is so much more important that losing that 40 mining fortune is a joke compared to gaining that two pristine plus actually there is a gemstone slot for mining fortune as well so you can actually get up to 50 mining fortune from the gemstone gauntlet if you have a perfect jade gemstone in there now heart of the mountain level 5 actually does unlock a third drill which is the titanium drill 555 this is the third upgrade in the titanium drill line and this is where it gets kind of close to competing with gemstone drill because it does actually have more mining fortune but still gemstone drill is going to be better than this and this is one of the most pricey upgrades in this line because it costs 200 million coin to upgrade from the 455 to the 555 and it's still not better than the 16 million coin gemstone gauntlet so again this line of drills is for the investors people who are going to be mining a lot later on now there is another drill that you unlock at heart of the mountain tier 5 which is the topaz drill the third drill in the gemstone drill line it's a 21 million coin upgrade from the gemstone drill to the topaz drill now the gemstone drill has 300 mining speed with 800 extra mining speed for gemstones and 80 extra mining fortune for gemstone the topaz drill gains an extra 150 base mining speed and 20 extra mining fortune for gemstone but it doesn't have that pristine which means it's still not as good as the gemstone gauntlet but don't worry the drills that you unlock at heart of the mountain level six are the ones that are technically better and the ones that are actually way better than the gemstone gauntlet first up at heart of the mountain level six you're going to be unlocking the titanium drill 655 which is a very pricey upgrade of again 200 million coins so it costs 200 mil to upgrade from 455 to 555 and it costs another 200 million to upgrade from 555 to 655 now the stats difference is actually very substantial though you gain 400 mining speed and 50 mining fortune which is huge but that is not the most important thing that you gain you can see there is another gemstone slot that you unlock with the 655 and that is the pristine gemstone slot which means this drill is 110 percent better than the gemstone gauntlet it's basically the same as a gemstone gauntlet with mining speed but it has an extra 120 mining fortune which means it is finally better than the 16 million coin gemstone gauntlet again a very pricey upgrade it costs 400 to 500 million coins to get a tool better than the gemstone gauntlet so 
This is why I'm telling you guys, get a gauntlet. If you don't have this kind of money to throw around, just start off with a gauntlet. It's just so much better. Now, the second drill you unlock at Heart of the Mountain Tier 6 is the Jasper Drill. This is the final drill in the Gemstone line, and it is a 20 million coin upgrade, and it's still not better than Gemstone Gauntlet. It has more mining fortune towards Gemstone. So if you are going for commissions only, it is going to be better because Pristine doesn't matter for commissions. Pristine matters for money, but if you're not going for a commission and you're going for money gemstone gauntlet still beats it but jasper drill does go in museum so i guess there's a plus you gain seven skyblock xp bonus now there is one final drill that we have to talk about which is probably the one that you guys have heard of the most the divan's drill i sincerely love that this is in the game because without this drill being in the game Devon's alloy would not exist and I would not have started off this profile basically as a billionaire. So I'm glad it exists, but I gotta tell you, it's not worth it. There is no world where this is worth it. Your stat increase is 200 mining speed, which is good and 30 mining fortune and it costs 1.2 billion coin, which is a lot of money for 30 mining fortune and 200 mining speed. You are never getting that money back. The amount of time that it takes to get that money back, even with Fiestas, it's a lot and it's genuinely not worth it. Granted, you can actually get a little bit more mining fortune and mining speed because there is an extra mining speed and mining fortune gemstone slot. So that does help out a bit, but still, man, it's just so expensive. It's just not worth it. All right, that is all for today's video. I hope this helped you guys out. Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. I have notifications on for comments so I can reply to any questions that you have. Just let me know and be sure to leave a like and sub if you want a part two because I do want to go over the different gemstone upgrades like the drill engine, the fuel tank, the enchants, things like that. What order you should do it in, blah, blah, blah. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay determined and God bless.